Welcome to Back to Reading with Miss Nicholson. Today we're reading Apples by Gail Gibbons. <laughs> <laughs> by Gail Gibbons? An apple is a fruit. It grows on an apple tree. Apple trees grow in more parts of the world than any other fruit tree. They have been in existence for about two million years. Wow. The first American colonists brought apple seeds and seedlings with them from England. As the colonists moved westward, they brought apple seeds and seedlings with them. Some settlers found that Native American Indians had already brought apple seeds west and had apple trees growing near their villages. Many times during the early 1800s, John Chapman traveled throughout the wilderness of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana, planting apple seeds. Also, he gave seeds and seedlings to the settlers there. He became known as Johnny Appleseed. Some apples are grown at home, but most are grown commercially. Each year, about 250 million bushels of apples are grown in the United States and about 28 million bushels are grown in Canada. An apple is a firm, crisp, fleshy fruit with a hard center called a core. The core has five seed chambers. In the springtime, flowers called apple blossoms begin to bloom on the apple trees. Each blossom has to be pollinated in order for an apple to grow. The blossoms are usually pollinated by insects or by the wind. After a while, the blossoms begin to die and apples start to grow. Throughout the warm summer, the little apples grow bigger and bigger. During the late summer or early fall, the apples ripen. When the trees are loaded with ripe apples, it is harvest time. Workers pick the apples by hand. Some are shipped to stores. Some are used to make apple juice, apple cider, apple jelly, applesauce, and lots of other apple products. Some are sold in baskets of roadside stands. During the fall, it is fun to go apple picking. Also, there are county fairs. Awards are given to the best looking apples, the best tasting apple pies, and the most delicious applesauce. There is apple cider too. During Halloween, there are caramel apples and candy apples. Some people bob for apples. When winter arrives, the apple tree branches become bare. The trees will become dormant until the next spring when the trees will produce a new crop of apples. Apples have many tastes, ranging from sweet to tart. All apples are different shades of yellow, green, and red, or a mix of these colors. Some common apples grown in North America, Rome Beauty, Macintosh, Jonathan, Stayman, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, York, Granny Smith. An apple tree will not grow apples until it is about five to eight years old. Each spring, the tree branches are trimmed. This is called pruning. Most apple trees grow to be about 20 feet tall. The soil around the trees should be fertilized. The pruning and fertilizing help produce lots of good apples. Make your own apple pie with the help of an adult. Here's how an apple cider press works. Number one, the apples are dropped into the hopper where they are cut up. Press screw handle, blades, hopper, 
Two, the apple pieces drop into the tub until it is three quarters full. Three, the press handle is turned and the apple pieces are squeezed, forcing cider through the cloth filter. The tray and a filter. And four, apple cider flows into the tray and then runs into a container. There are thousands of varieties or kinds of apples. They are nutritious and delicious. There's Golden Russet, Tompkins King, Suncrisp, King David, Ozark Gold, Prairie Spy, Wagner, Honey Gold, Newton Pippin, Molly's Delicious, Liberty, Keepsake. The end.